What is going on guys? I am Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I want to talk about Melissa Ford. She is making comments about uh, the game and a song that he made back in I believe 20 uh 2007 say 2016 but 2006 called Wouldn't Get Far with Kanye West. And she wants to clear the air years later. How many years has it been since that song been out? How many years has it been? About 13 years. And now all of a sudden she wants to speak out against this. Uh, now she was sitting on Claudia Jordan's show with Rose Acosta and they were discussing uh, how things were back in the days when chicks used to make a lot of money, according to them being video vixens. But now, you know, chicks will basically do the videos for free if they can grow their Instagram uh, followings, you know. Now, I will say this, though. Uh, back in the day, Melissa Ford, a uh, bunch of these other females, they did gain a name for themselves by being video chicks. They were considered top tier video chicks. You know, they were in every top rapper or R&B singers videos, you know, and I'm going to get to one R&B singer a little bit in this video, but I want to get to some of these com some of these comments that she made. OK, now. According to Hot New Hip Hop, Melissa Ford says she was humiliated by the game's lyrics about her. And if y'all don't know the lyrics, he said that you know, Melissa Ford, you know, drives a Honda Accord. Um, and I think that bothered her then and years later i believe it still bothers her because she says that that song ruined her relationship the relationship she had at that particular time it ruined it now i don't know how a song that reference you can ruin your relationship because obviously that relationship was already rocky that dude already wanted to leave and that song gave him the excuse to leave. Um, the fact that you want to blame the game in that song for why your relationship failed and your re your reputation uh, was where it was. Um, you know, you have to be able to look yourself in the mirror for that one. You can't blame the game for that. Now, I want people to understand something. A lot of them video chicks were getting it in with these rappers. They were doing whatever it took to get to the Grammy Awards. You know, they were. Now, some probably weren't, but you did have a lot of Corinne Steffens out here. Okay, you did. Now, people are saying that she's saying that her book was crap. I, I, I don't believe that. I think that, you know, um, I think she's pissed off so many people. She wants to sort of, you know, forget the book ever existed because she can't make no money off of it anymore. You know, no one cares anymore. There's a lot of this out here, you know, and for Melissa Ford to still be harboring this. lets me know that um, she wants to blame the game for how her reputation is, but I want people to go and look up. Melissa Ford and Cisco. There was a video of them going back to his hotel room. I say whatever you want about Cisco, but do you think it's a good look that you and another female and I believe another dude as well, y'all are going back to a hotel room? Is that a good look? Also, uh, there's a picture where she's standing next to Cisco and she has her tongue out, she has a tongue ring on. <laughs> but we gonna pretend like uh, she wasn't kicking it with these rappers or R&B singers. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> that people are just making up things. Let me tell you something about the game. Say whatever you want about the game. The game to me doesn't come off as a guy who's a liar. He, he doesn't. Look at Joe Budden and his relationship okay with san santana when the game said what he said about san santana san santana didn't deny it that i know of now if she denied it and i missed that y'all can tell me in the comment section but to my knowledge she never publicly denied what the game said 
In other situations, when the game has spoken out about being with certain females, those females never really deny it because they know it's true. And he knows it's true. So just because she may not have dealt with him directly doesn't mean that he doesn't know of her dealing with other rappers or R&B singers. These guys talk. Just because you didn't have, you know, social media the way it was back then, now, like, that doesn't mean that these guys weren't speaking to each other, that they didn't know what was going on. Like, you can't keep no secrets in the industry. These dudes talk to each other. But I find it very interesting that she seemed more upset about the uh, driving the Honda Accord than about being considered a slower. You know? But... I, I think the times have changed and I think that, you know, Melissa, for the most part, did keep herself, uh, not keep herself, she did hold herself up in a professional manner. Uh, women these days are not very professional at all because they don't have talent. Um, they're trying to either get into the music industry or they're trying to be an athlete or a rapper's wife or baby mama. They have really don't have any other aspirations outside of that. Now, they will say that they own businesses. They'll say that, you know, they have degrees. They're in real estate, whatever. But why are you still trying to date men who are, are clearly unavailable? You know, and that remains, you know. That's the question. But uh, with Melissa, she's blaming a song from 2006, 2007 for why her career faltered. You were a video vixen. Um, the video vixen game was pretty much over after about 2008, 2009. Um, there really was no video vixens anymore. They were not paying women the same. So I think it was a culmination of things. I don't think it was that one song. I just think that. You know, uh, the game has a way of psychologically getting to people. I don't know what it is. The game, and the thing is this, the game is is, a, is an excellent rapper. I've always been a fan of the game and his, and his rapping style. And he's very effective um, with his wordplay. And he does name drop a lot. That's just him. That's that's how he raps. Not saying I agree with the name dropping all the time, but that's just him. Um, him, you know, basically guys have been talking about the females he's been with. But that's what's going to happen in, in, in the industry. And Melissa, I don't think she's 100 percent like I didn't do this. I didn't that. I mean, I mean, come on, man. Come on. Um, you know, chicks get blinded by the, the glare of the being in the industry too, going to the parties, being around certain people. You know, it happens. All you got to do is just admit it. Um, but as far as this song humiliating you, um, how come we never heard you say anything? You know why? Because it didn't affect you. Uh, you know, um, maybe you were able to go from relationship to relationship. Um, the fact that you want to blame the game for why your relationship didn't work, that to me just says that you don't have any accountability. No song is going to ruin your relationship unless it's true. Um, because if you weren't driving a Honda Accord, if you weren't trying to do whatever it took to get to the Grammy Awards, then why would your you know significant other not want to be with you, Melissa? Unless there was some truth to it and what the game said and really he didn't really say that you were out here smashing i mean the game has said worse about other women because he, he mentioned other women in the song she wasn't the only one but i don't know if it's narcissism but unless people are coming up to her dudes are coming up to her and they're uh, asking her about the song if it's true or not but from my understanding melissa's single and I don't know what it is, but when women get older and they're single, they start to reflect back to when they were younger and they were in their prime and they were dating the men that they wanted to date. Uh, and they they don't have those same options anymore. And I'm not saying that Melissa is unattractive at all. What I'm saying is she's reflecting back to when she was in her prime and the type of men that she would be with and the fact that she was in relationships you know even though she was in the profession that she was in you know she still had a boyfriend because once again there was no social media wasn't as big i mean social media was just starting out but it wasn't as big as it became 
Okay, so it was a lot more difficult to know what was going on. And she still had somebody she was in a relationship with. And I think because, and I'm just saying, I don't know if she's in one or not. Melissa's a very, you know, private person when it comes to relationships, for the most part. <clears throat> I don't think she's with anybody right now. And because she's not with anybody right now, what happens is she starts to blame certain people for why her relationships may not be working. When really, look at the profession you're in. You were a video vixen. Okay, it wasn't like you were working in corporate America. Okay, look at look at the type of people you're around. Look at how you dress. You were in these music videos, the parties you went to. You engage in the same behavior, not behavior, but you engage in the same type of, uh, you know, um, social circles as these other women who are mentioned in the song, and all these women who are caught up in the industry. You know, now. Once again, there have been rappers who said worse about women in music. They will deny it immediately. Let me go back way back to Fred Durst and Limp Bizkit. <laughs> I know I'm going down a, a different road on this one. There was a situation where Fred Durst uh, performed with Christina Aguilera. And after that, there was a uh, mention of possibly him hooking up with her and when she found out about it she immediately denied it <laughs> but for melissa years later to all of a sudden bring this up just shows that she's in a reflective mindset and she's looking at where she was and she's looking at the fact that after that, the video vixen era was pretty much over. Um, I think with the advent of social media, it it, it did away with um, video vixens because you can see attractive women from everywhere who weren't in music videos. You know, women who were thirsty to be in the industry. You got the scrippers who start to be in these music videos for little to nothing. You know, you got to look at the changing industry, right? But you want to blame the game. Again, a guy who does have loose lips. I'm not going to say he doesn't, but I, I don't think I, I just think that, you know, it's been a long time. It's been years and you're now bringing this up and we have to ask the question why.